We got 15 great ideas on how to improve Brawl Stars. And who knows, some of these could be in the next update. Let's do it. All right, before we begin, I just wanna quickly say, I'm gonna try and not talk about any ideas we've already covered on the channel. I've done some other like great ideas to improve Brawl Stars videos, talking about things like best way to do club wars, trophy road improvements, uh, emojis, and even more great ideas. But if you do wanna see those videos, I'll put a link down below into the video, but we'll try to only talk about new ideas here today. Okay, how am I very confident that the next brawler is going to be a mythic? Take a look at this little chart here that Frogs Are Friends put together. Of course, he, he put them all in categories. I think trying to guess what the next brawler is going to be. I'm not sure about these categories. Redhead family, Mexicans, Arabians, miners, leather jackets. I <laughs> but he also showed, or she showed, the number of brawlers for every single rarity. Mythic is the only one, besides Trophy Road Brawlers, that doesn't have four. So I think we can make a safe assumption the next brawler is going to be a Mythic. Now, I'm not really gonna talk about what I think the next brawler is going to be, but if I do have to officially guess, I'll say, hopefully, it's something like a spawnable, or that's my guess. It's gonna be a brawler that's sort of utility or a spawn. Moving on though, how about takedown as a team mode? Now this user suggested as a 5v5 mode, but I wanna go a little further and say it doesn't even have to be 5v5, it's just any sort of team or in mode, whether it's 3v3 or 5v5. I think that's a potential idea. I feel like in 5v5, you would probably, the robot would go down way too quickly. Maybe you could increase the health of the robot and that could be adjusted for it, but one thing this could be cool is maybe you could have people who are designated roles. Some people attack the robot, some people keep their teammates alive, and some people go for kills, as opposed to only playing brawlers in the solo mode version where you only go for brawlers that are good at taking out the robot. Maybe in a team or in a mode, you can sort of mix it up, have a different variety of brawlers, different variety of meta, now maybe I'm wrong and that wouldn't happen and it would still only be the best brawlers are taking out the robot because I guess after all, at the end of the day, that is the goal. Um, but try it out, test it out, maybe this could be a good idea. Speaking of takedown, a lot of people have suggested adding in a leaderboard uh, or some sort of more information on who is actually in the lead and who is winning the match and exactly how well you're doing because you don't really have a great indication unless you're either number one or I guess like bottom two or three, but really it's not a great indication unless you're in the lead. Otherwise you are anywhere in between like three spots so a lot of people suggested a different sort of leaderboard. This is one idea for it, showing in the corner. And I do wanna say one great idea I saw from someone else, I forget who, I'm sorry, but they suggested you can swipe the leaderboard and it will go away if you don't wanna show it. In this case, they have a button to do it. I guess that works as well. But if you don't do that, this would be cool as well, where you show literally on the end screen what you know, placement, the top couple people got and how many stars they got, how much percentage they got for Lone Star and Takedown. Um, because it's kind of annoying to, you know, realize like, oh, who actually won that match? I have to go into the battle logs every single time I want to see. And this would just be not a big thing, but a small quality of life thing people would enjoy. Now, here's an interesting take on improving Takedown and Lone Star by Chief Pekka here, talking about sort of this mystery bubble, adding in basically like an event modifier, really, where it's this mystery bubble. It's kind of like a mini box. You break it down, you pick it up, and inside it, it's a mystery. I mean, once you get it, I guess you figure out, but they even take a step further. Instead of it just being some random thing where the effect automatically applies to you, there's a bunch of different possibilities for what's in the bubble, either from like different um, amounts of power cubes and energy drink, even coins in this case, but also turning into an extra button that you can use depending on what the effect is. For example, he has like a little rocket that you can fire out or a shield or a trap, or refilling your ammo, or healing up. Um, he has a lot of great ideas. I think this is a pretty cool and unique idea for an event modifier for takedown. Um, and like each sort of thing has different chance percentage appearing. Um, adding in coins is kind of an interesting idea as well, but it's definitely a unique take. It might be hard to have an extra button. I don't know exactly how well that would work, but the idea of it's pretty solid. Now here's a small quality of life thing, but I really want to know the game mode my friends are playing in before I request to join whatever game room they're in. I mean, you know, you want to usually play with other people, but usually there's a couple modes you either want to play or don't want to play. So this would be a small step 
in improving that. Now here's a new game mode idea that competitive players would love. And actually I think a lot of people would really enjoy as well. Just adding a little bit of competitive flair to Brawl Stars because honestly it's a pretty casual pushing game. And here's the idea with this one. Basically you only get so many tries in this mode and if you win a certain amount of times you get an extra reward you know, on top of the normal rewards that you would get um, from the tokens that you would get in the mode. Now I think to make this work instead of adding in a new game mode slot or just throwing it in another slot you put it in during a ticketed, the ticket event slot uh, and it just have it run during the weekdays and maybe not even all the weekdays maybe it's just two or three of them during the middle of the week sort of an extra break I don't know if it would use tickets or not you could probably justify it since it's only you can only do it a couple times but something where there's really high stakes on the line and maybe even have it really be a solo mode you could have it even switch it up maybe sometimes it's a solo mode sometimes it's a 3v3 mode but i don't think you could probably give a mythic brawler or any brawler as a reward maybe something like a big box or even a mega box um if you complete whatever the task is that'd be cool another chief peck idea and i think this is one a lot of people want and that's just a halloween theme for showdown and we got the uh, Har I think it was the Harvest Festival, the Moon Festival, I'm saying it wrong probably, um, where the boxes were slightly different and the power cubes were slightly different. But really, we really want it for Halloween, right? And I feel like it would be pretty simple. I mean, just like this. Pumpkins is an obvious replacement for uh, the boxes. And candy, I think, would be another obvious replacement for power cubes. So... This is a great idea. Please, hopefully in the next update, which is hopefully before Halloween, we can get something like this. And here's another idea I really like, and I think this one's pretty simple and a lot of people will probably want it too. And you know how we had the token doubler uh, event going on the second time now? Well, what about basically that, but for other things, either for like double coins, maybe, or double gems, I think would be great. Double experience, you could probably kind of boring, um, but just some sort of variety in more events like that, whether it's double tokens, which is great, or double gems, or whatever it is. Now, what about an improved training cave? A lot of people have suggested this one as well, and the way this one is done would be amazing if it could be this well done. Something where it literally shows you the exact range of a brawler, that'd be great. Something where you can literally time yourself exactly as soon as you enter here, it times yourself until you leave. That would be fantastic. And there's a lot of different um, areas here in this case where you can test a variety of different things. Even in this case, you can actually switch star powers mid-battle, which, I mean, for training cave makes sense, and why not? This is a pretty cool addition. Here's another game mode idea. What about gun game? This one has also been suggested a lot. This is um, a different take on it, basically. I think... And they have it as a ticket event, which probably makes sense because I don't know exactly the balance it would be. But basically, if you don't know what gun game is, you start out with a certain brawler. Once you get a kill with that brawler, you move on to the next brawler. Goal is to try to get one kill with every brawler all the way down until the end. In this case, they have 10 brawlers. I think that's probably too much because it would end up being a really long game. Maybe five or even like four is probably fine. Like you think about Lone Star 10, get, having everyone try to get 10 kills might not be best. Although, I don't know, maybe it ends when someone finally gets to 10, or does it keep going until a certain time limit? Not entirely sure, but essentially, once you get a kill with that brawler, you automatically switch to that next brawler right where you are. And they even have it, some nice like rules on there. Like, if you have 50% health with whatever brawler on, you stay at 50% health, just translate it to the next brawler. Also, like if you have a turret up, it gets destroyed because you no longer are using a brawler with a turret, stuff like that, just sort of balancing stuff. But it's an interesting idea. I definitely love to test it out, right? Now here's something I think we would all want, and that's stopping own goals. Definitely one of the more annoying things in Brawl Stars, especially when it's accidental, but also too, sometimes with the occasional troll who throws the game on purpose on your team, which no one ever wants that. It doesn't happen that often, but even when it does, incredibly frustrating. Basically, you just have the ball bounce off the goal. Now, they have extra effects like you get a yellow card and it makes you respawn longer. And if you don't have ammo, you die. Things like that. I don't think those are necessary. Probably too much, too complicated. Casual players wouldn't understand. And honestly, I think you just have the ball bounce off. Or um, if you, in this case, if you walk into the goal with the ball, instead of having it bounce, just have it drop right there. Um, or even bounce too, either way. But bouncing off the goal, please. This is a small quality of life one, but 
It would be great to be able to know how long Sandy Super actually is going to last. I mean, you know, once it starts, okay, it's 12 seconds, but you can easily get caught up. Or if you're the enemy and you just respawn, or even an ally, you respawn, someone else use the Sandy Super. It's pretty easy for 12 seconds. You can respawn, come in, and it's still in effect, and you don't know how long is left. That would be a great thing to know. In this case, they have it being a star, which is already in the center, and it just shrinks, essentially, until it's actually gone. But some sort of indicator would be good. Talking about indicators, being able to tell what star power everyone on the enemy team is using would be definitely nice. In this case, I even have, like, the text underneath it with the name of it. Yeah, that could be fine. Or even if Brawl Stars just wants to just do the icon of the star power, I would be okay with that, at least, because it's still better than nothing. Not a big, you know, thing needed, but it would be nice. Also, huge pet peeve of mine. I don't know exactly how you would do this, but please, I open so many big boxes accidentally. I need some sort of way to make that less likely to happen. Whether it's big boxes, regular boxes, I don't know exactly how you would do this. Whether it's a confirmation, which maybe makes sense for big boxes. Once you press it once, you know, it doesn't appear again for like the rest of the day or something. Uh, but please, Supercell. Check out more great ideas on how to improve Brawl Stars right over there. Even things like Club Wars, New Brawler, skin ideas, quests, and more that I think you will enjoy. That is going to be it for today's video, though. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you later.